In this video, we're gonna answer the question, can a 1099 open and fund a solo 401k? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Or if this is your first time at our channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Travis Sickle. So here is the short answer to can a 1099 open and fund a solo 401k? The short answer is yes, but it depends. You need earned income. So you can do up to $19,500 into your solo 401k, either your traditional side or your Roth solo 401k. Those numbers are combined. You might also be able to get up to $58,000 depending on your net profit. So here is the net profit or your schedule C, which line 31 will show your net profit. Now you're going to want to take that number. You're going to subtract one half of your self-employment, which is found on schedule S E. And if you scroll down, you're going to see that on line 13 deduction for one half of self-employment tax. Now you're there, then you're going to take that number and you're going to multiply it by the maximum of 20%. That's right. 20%, not 25%. That would be for somebody who is earning a W-2 and filing as an S corporation. So you can do up to 20% as an independent contractor who is filling out a schedule C. Now I've done a handful of videos on this, on the calculations, walking through that. So go ahead and check out those videos. But I want to talk more about this solo 401k for somebody who is receiving or getting a 1099. If you have side hustle money, then it's eligible to put it into the solo 401k. Now, like I said, you can do up to 58,000 for 2021. There are no income limits. Now, as the 19,500 employee side of this contribution, what you need to understand is it'll aggregate with another plan if you have one. So let's say you have a W-2 job, then you have to look at that 401k in addition to your solo 401k and that maximum as the employee side is 19,500 and the calculation that I just pointed out with the net profit and the one half of self-employment. That is going to be up to 19,500, but you can do non-deductible contributions, which could possibly get you up to the $58,000 for both you and then an additional 58,000 for your spouse. So if you have a solo 401k, both you and your spouse might be eligible to make those contributions. And the other important part of the solo 401k on the Roth side is that you could still do the Roth IRA if you're eligible. So it doesn't aggregate with your IRAs, just your 401k. So that 19.5 or the $58,000 limits do not affect your Roth IRA. So if you also qualify to make those contributions into the Roth IRA, the traditional IRA, or a non-deductible contribution into your traditional IRA, then you would still be eligible separate from the solo 401k. And because of the Secure Act of 2019, solo 401ks are now eligible to be open and funded up until tax filing deadlines, including extensions. Now, if you have any questions on this, let me know in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave your comments down at the bottom.